And, and this one's gonna blow your mind. I saw this one yesterday, this is just incredible. Do you know, this is true, ladles and jelly spoons, this is totally true, that the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, is still recommending masks on two-year-olds now, and they refuse to reverse it. So Rochelle Walensky, who is uh, in charge of the CDC, uh, she was testifying yesterday in front of Congress, still defending this concept. I do wanna mention one thing. I, I told you guys when we went to DC a couple months back, that I was walking, uh, they have the tunnel, I think that goes between, what was it, between the Capitol and the, uh, where the where Congress, con the congressional offices basically. So there's this underground tunnel. We're walking through the tunnel and I walked right by Walensky. Like we basically touched shoulders. And there was something about her, I kid you not. We all looked at each other like she does not seem human. She might be some sort of lizard person. NewsGuard, you can check me on that one because I'm pretty sure we'll find something very disturbing and cold-blooded. Anyway, here's CDC's Rochelle Walensky defending masks on two-year-olds yesterday. In fact, the CDC is currently the only national or international public health agency that recommends masking two-year-old children. I'd like you to explain in detail the process and the timeline by which evidence such as this is used by the CDC to update, modify, or necessary withdraw current guidance. Great, thank you for the opportunity to clarify on those points. So I believe you're referring to the Cochrane Review study. This is an important study, but the Cochrane Review only includes randomized clinical trials. And as you can imagine, many of the randomized clinical trials that were included in that were for other respiratory viruses, not COVID-19. Some of them were for COVID-19, just to be clear, but it is very different for COVID-19 because you have a, a, pre, a virus that a different from flu, potentially different from SARS or MERS, transmits before you actually have symptoms. So, it's also the case that the, one of the limitations in that study was clearly stated that um, people were not actually engaged in the intervention. So you actually have to wear the mask okay. for it to work. Okay. So there Dr. are lots Walensky? of studies now in Georgia. Dr. Walensky, why are we masking our kids today? You know, thank you. Also, so our guidance um, for school-based masking is related to our COVID-19 community levels. And fortunately, we're in a place now in this country where most of our country is in green or yellow, um, has uh, lower um, low or moderate transmission or COVID-19 community levels. And in those situations, we actually don't recommend masking. We recommend it for high COVID-19 community so, levels. So what is your timeline? for updating, reevaluating these guide guidance? You know, our masking guidance doesn't really change um, with time. What it changes with is disease. So when there's a lot of disease in a community, we recommend that those communities and those schools mask. When there's less disease in the community, we recommend that those masks can come off. So, okay, so it's just gonna continue. Your abject nonsense. Now I hope, and I know if you're watching this show, you are no longer listening to the CDC and you should not. You don't have to listen to me. You should make whatever choices are right for you and your family and everything else. I can tell you, I got two kids downstairs, uh, both of whom are actually a little under the weather right now. And David's a little under the weather too. We're running an infirmary here right now. I'm the, I'm the only one operating at hundred percent. So I'm gonna have a very crazy day after I uh, finish this. There's gonna be a lot of spit up all over me is what it is. That's just fine. Um, I am never putting mask. I mean, the idea that you would put a mask on a two-year-old because that crazy, dishonest, <laughs> 